position. So add these to your list. Characterization. Freshman English teacher Emily Cobb describes the moment she learned the student shot and killed at his bus stop was 16-year-old Tyree Smith. Overwhelming sadness and it's kind of transition to anger. I'm at this point for myself and I know a lot of the other teachers at school. She says Ty had an infectious personality. When you roll into classes in the mornings, your freshmen come in there a lot of times they're really sleepy and when Ty would come in, he would literally just light up the room. He had really dynamic energy. And his positive energy impacted those around him. A lot of times when you talk about students that are energetic, it's code for a behavior issue. With Ty, that wasn't it. He was on task. He was really a leader. We do um, a lesson called Socratic Discussions where the kids sit in a circle. We talk about really higher order thinking, questioning. And I could walk out of the classroom and let Ty lead that lesson. But as Cobb and others replay the senseless shooting that killed him and injured two others at the bus stop in the Russell neighborhood, she goes to a dark place. When you've got a student who's doing all the right things, it was 6.15 in the morning that he's trying to come to school. It's just, it's, un, it's unbearable to think about. This memorial around the flagpole is in honor of Ty, a way for students here at Eastern High School to honor him and for those who knew him and loved him to show they miss him. I had students hit the floor crying, um, literally hit the floor screaming and crying. I had students say, I have no idea what happened um, because it wasn't necessarily in the Middletown community. Um, so I basically greeted them at the door as I always do. You just watch their body language as they come in and you just wrap them in a bear hug. Um, there's nothing that I could tell them, nothing that I could, um, I mean, I was in the same boat with them. For now, she and other teachers at the school are offering a moment of reflection at the beginning of their classes. The empty chair is like a slap in the face. I walk in and it's kind of just like you almost want to feel his energy in the places that he was. Um, it'll definitely have a ripple effect. This is something that will impact these kids um, for years to come, this loss. A loss to all of Louisville, especially those who know just how far Ty could have gone and what he could have done had he lived to finish his dreams. Natasha Williams, WLKY 